Hi, I'm Ashley, and today we'll be taking you on a tour of Vancouver's neighborhood energy utility. Our thermal energy plant is located in the heart of Vancouver, in the high value neighborhood of Southeast Falls Creek. We began operation in 2010 and are the first application of large scale raw sewage waste heat recovery in North America. Our plant essentially takes waste heat from sewage to provide space heating and hot water to over 5 million square feet of development in the Falls Creek area. Vancouver has a plan to be powered entirely by renewable energy before 2050 for both transportation and buildings. Since buildings account for almost 55% of the carbon pollution in our city, the development of renewable energy systems like this one is key to meeting our goals. Let's head down to the plant and take a look. Hi, I'm Derek and I'm going to be showing you around the Energy Centre, which is really a combination of a sewage pumping station, a sewage heat recovery plant and a boiler plant. Let's go check it out. Okay, here we are at the sewage pumping station. Behind this wall, over 200 liters per second of wastewater come in from the neighborhood to be pumped off to the local wastewater treatment plant. Now, wastewater is warm because we use domestic hot water for things like taking a hot shower, doing the laundry, and doing the dishes. Through those green pipes behind me, we divert some of that sewage into the plant so that we can extract some of the heat before it gets pumped off. Okay, next stop, the sewage heat recovery plant, right this way. So here we are at the sewage heat recovery plant, definitely the star of the show on this tour. This is where we take that warm wastewater and we run it through this heat pump behind me. The heat pump extracts the heat from the sewage and puts it into our system water, boosting it to a high temperature, as high as 80 degrees Celsius. Now heat pumps are pretty amazing. This process operates at an annual average efficiency of 320%. That's where we see the big wins for the environment and also for our operating costs. Now this big empty space behind me, we reserve for expanding the capacity of our sewage heat recovery system, something we're currently working on. Okay, finally we're at the boiler plant, which we use for topping up the energy supply during periods of high demand from the neighborhood. Now one cool thing we're doing here is we're starting to blend in carbon neutral renewable natural gas. By combining sewage heat recovery with renewable natural gas, we can transition our plant to 100% renewable energy with the technology we have here today. This is something we've actually achieved for an entire quarter last year. Now another advantage of a district energy system is because we've already got the neighborhood connected, we're much better positioned to adapt to new technologies as they evolve. It's much easier to make an upgrade to a central plant like this than it is to retrofit buildings individually. Thanks for stopping by. Hi again. Being located in one of Vancouver's most dense urban neighborhoods, it's been really important for us to engage with the local community. For example, these stacks were designed as a piece of public art based on feedback from local residents. And we also have this beautiful community garden on site. Since 2010, we've grown our customer base by over 300%. And recently, City Council has adopted a long-term plan to expand our customer service. This will help us transition some of Vancouver's most dense and vibrant neighborhoods to 100% renewable energy by 2050. This utility is just one of the ways that Vancouver's meeting its renewable city goals. Thanks for visiting.